Ahoy, salty dogs! Lens Cap here, and today we are playing Star Maid. Uh, this is episode number 22? 22? 22. It's episode 22. And uh, <laughs> today um, we are working on some stuff and things. Okay, the first thing we want to look at is all the battle damage to our uh, phalanx here. Uh, taking a look at this, it doesn't actually look that bad. Uh, we did suffer a little bit of damage, of course. Um, there's, uh, some, some hurt blocks here, some damaged blocks, that's for sure. Um, ooh, there is a good shot. We took a missile there, something probably. Um, let's see, on the back. Yeah, we definitely took some damage to the back. The sides, though, look pretty good. A little bit of damage on the side there. The other side doesn't look as hot. Um, but mostly our damage was to the front. Toward the inside here of the... Which makes sense. I mean, that's center mass, right? That's where the... Uh, um, looks like we lost a missile tube, at least one. Uh, but that's center mass, though, right? That's where, um, where the AI is going to aim. So... Yeah, a little bit more damage on this side. Uh, but we did it. We we uh, we we got rid of the pirates and uh, killed them all, and and that was cool. I got so much loot from those things. I am not gonna be hurting for money for a long time. Um, that's awesome. I did see this turret in action. It does work, which is awesome as well. It does not do very much damage. So that's something we may need to think about in the future. Um, it's bigger, better turrets. Uh, but for now, I mean, you know, this... It's an invincible station, so no worries there. Um, I kind of parked underneath here and hid it a little bit. I could dock it to the station, and then that thing would be invincible as well, but... Whatever, man, that's kind of cheating, I feel like. Uh, speaking of cheating, I got a comment that said that if I wanted to, I, there's an admin command that uh, would let me basically um, have infinite money and build all the kinds of stuff out of ships and or out of stations or something and and uh, I'm not about that life man I, I gotta learn how to play this first before I before I do the cheating stuff um, I feel like you know this uh, I'm playing it survival style I want to do it survival style first so no cheating for me uh, but thank you very much for that option as an option um, yeah, this ship has definitely seen better days. We're going to have to work on this next. I think a new mining ship. Whoops, I shot it. <laughs> okay, uh, so I think that's going to be our next project. God, we got so much loot in here, guys. Check this out. Um, this is full. This is full. This, look at this. 537 power supply computers. 300 storage chests. Seven, 475 personal computers in blue. Um, if we look in this one as well, there's a bunch of stuff. 700 build blocks, 800 ask. Yeah, so we've got all kinds of stuff. That's awesome. Um, inside the station, I haven't really done anything. So that's kind of an update on uh, on where we stand here. Uh, today's project, what we want to work on today. We're gonna head back over toward the B ship. And we're going to work on that a little bit. I'd like to get some legs going. Alright, so here we are. We've made it to the Queen Bee. Uh, we're going to do legs today. We're at least going to do uh, do one, maybe two sets of legs. Um, I did want to show you this, though. I found this on my way over here. <laughs> I, didn't, I feel awful that I didn't know this was a thing. So if you hit T, this pulls up your weapons menu, right? You can click on the jump drive computer and hit details. And it tells you how many modules you should have based on the size of your ship. Uh, oh, I did not realize that was a thing. So I have about half as many modules as I have uh, for my junk as I need uh, for my jump drive to be really efficient. So that's something we're going to keep in mind the next uh, the next time we build a ship uh, that has those jump jump drive uh, capabilities. All right, for legs, what do we need? We're going to need, uh, let's actually hop back into the core here, which conveniently now we can enter from the <laughs> outside of the ship um, so we can get a little closer to where we're working. 
Because I believe I have all, if not most, of my blocks in this ship currently. Okay, this looks like a good spot for us. Out of the way, but still accessible. And, okay, what do we need? We want black hull. Um, we're going to need... Definitely a black hole. We're going to need a little bit of logic. We'll worry about the logic last. Um, we are right here by a shop, and we've got a bunch of money. And we've got enough blocks that we can sell and get some more money. Um, Alright, I'm going to get started on these legs. Let's see what we can figure out. Alright, so I put, uh, put back legs here on the Queen Bee. Uh, I'm liking them so far. It took me, uh, this is like my third try at legs on this thing, man. Legs are weird for sure, but, uh, but I'm liking it actually. They're, they're almost grasshoppers feeling, um, but I, I think it worked out okay. Um, it's, it's really hard to get an organic shape with just squares, but I think I did a good job of, of getting one. I do have kind of repeating patterns. Um, which I think on, on the legs of this thing, it made sense uh, to have those repeating patterns. Um, it gets a little funky here at the knee, if you'll call it like a knee. It's more of like an elbow, maybe. I'm not sure uh, what you would call the joint on an insect leg. Um, at the joint, though, whatever it's called there. Um, but there are the back legs. I like that. Uh, I like the shape of it. And then once we get wedges and stuff, uh, you know, then that'll kind of... Uh, clean it up a little bit as well. Uh, this definitely needs something like maybe that. Yeah, there we go. And then it looks like it's coming off the bottom there. Uh, for the next legs, um, I'm going to do the middle legs next. And, and we'll probably have to save the front legs for another episode. Because they're going to be the most intense ones. Uh, for the middle legs, I was just going to have, you know, basically have them hang straight down. And then have them open up at a 45 um, when, uh, when we're docking. No, that's not gonna work anymore. I built these back legs, and they come up. It'd be weird if these come up, and the middle ones don't. So we're gonna have to do at least two joints on the middle legs. There'll be a joint. And we still may do the same thing with the way the joint goes, but we'll have to have one joint that comes up like this, and then it'll maybe come down... It'll have to move probably 90 degrees. Um, but it'll start maybe at a 45? I don't know. It depends on how we build it, I guess. Um, so it'll start uh, in a shape like this. And then it'll have to come down in a shape like this. And then we'll have to have another joint that'll start coming down like this. Almost mirrored of this. And then when we hit the button, then this joint will have to move. And this knee will have to open as well. So the leg ends up being, you know, kind of like this. Maybe in a little bit more like this. Um, but we're going to have to do that for the front legs. They'll have to do the same thing. Now, I was looking at a lot of pictures, though, and I don't think we're going to have as much trouble with that. Um, the front legs will come more forward and down, so I don't know that we'll have to have two axis of motion on any of the joints, though. We can just have the one, and it'll fold out like this and extend to be, you know, kind of a straight, straight leg. All right, so the logic for the first part of this is done, uh, and it's pretty straightforward. Um, basically, I've got an inner ship remote here that's going to start up uh, start up everything. Um, I actually could compact this a little bit more, and I may end up doing that. But um, Okay, so I've got uh, both of these. These are the rotational blocks. There's one counterclockwise and one clockwise just for mirror... Um, kind of effects. Um, you know, I could simplify this even a little bit more. I, anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This will work. Where's my logic? Okay, so uh, there's a button. Uh, this button is activated by the inner ship remote. So you start the inner ship remote and it activates the button. Um, right now they're in the not state. Um, so in the not state they are extended. So that's when they're going to be basically horizontal like this. Um, when you hit the button, it puts them in the uh, flip-flop state, um, and it switches both sides. So in the flip-flop state, they're extended at a 45 degree, so that's going to be uh, like the back legs is. And it happens on both sides there. 
you can see I've got the beginnings of my ship here so uh, basically now I'm gonna have to build the legs um, around this portion these two ships I've got on either side I'm gonna have to mirror them um, which is gonna be a little bit um, a little bit of effort um, but basically I'll probably build one and then build the other just to copy that um, the hardest part is gonna be I've got to squeeze the mecha the mechanisms inside of the legs for the joint for the next joint um, because uh, basically what you'll have what we'll have to do is also link this button to a wireless module in fact we can go ahead and do that and then this wireless module would link to you know what we're gonna have to link it to two because uh, right now as it stands you can't link one wireless module to two different um, two different other wireless modules. So we'll have to put one on either side. So we'll have to do one on one for this side and one for this side. Um, and then these will activate basically the same mechanism um, in the other joint so that it... Uh, I'm trying to... I'm explaining with my hands here and y'all can't see my hands. Uh, but basically so that it opens up... Um, and actually, is this going to end up vertical? And I'm not sure that I want that. We'll have to play with it a little bit more. Maybe we'll add a little bit more flex in the second joint, um, which is pretty easy to do. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get back to building, and I'll give you one more progress update probably before we end the episode. All right, so I have the uh, the first section of the middle legs going. Uh, they're up right now. Um, and, I, and I think that looks okay. We're going to have to put the, the next section on as well. And basically that's going to go um, at a 90 degree here. So it'll go like this kind of out. And then when we extend them, they'll go almost straight down. We may not actually even need a joint, uh, honestly. Let's, let's drop the legs and take a look. Um, first, let's do this. So let's get a good idea for what it looks like, right? So they're up against the thing. They're up against the bee. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then, uh, you know what? Let's... Well, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and drop the legs. And then maybe we'll build the next section of legs and decide if there needs to be a joint there. Okay, so we'll just hit the button. That switches the, uh, the rotation, guys. So now they're sticking out. I like that pretty well. Yeah, that works. That works. And then there's there's still an angle to it, so that looks good. Um, let's go ahead and do this kind of thing. Um, it's going to be in flight the most, so I think I want to build it from the in flight kind of angle. That's a little wonky where those two bits meet. What if we just do like a block there? We'll mirror that on this side. What the hey? We'll just make it all the way across. Like that. We can even put a block there. And maybe remove this block. Yeah, that works. Okay, now let's see what we did. We, uh... How are we going to mirror that? We removed this one, right? And we put another block... Here, I think? that right yes it is uh, and also one here and I think that's what we've got on both sides now yeah it looks good okay so okay yeah let's put the legs back up and those additions we just made should have no uh, change on the legs being able to move yep it just kind of makes it look a little tighter there are exposed components, but I don't have any way to hide those. There's not really a good way around that. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of the legs, and let's see how that looks. Uh, maybe we'll build these on camera a little bit. Um, so I just kind of left it open like this, but I think let's hop in this ship. Oh, build mode, by the way, is wonky as, as, as hell in these things uh, because they're at a weird angle, so... Um, okay, so we're going to remove those, and let's extend this block once, and we're kind of going to want to go like 90 degrees basically, right? 
Um, so we'll do like that. And now these are here. Let's do, what if we do like this? And then we'll make it two. How's that? Um, yeah, that'll work. We can even shave off these blocks to help out with the shape a little bit more. Maybe not that one. And okay, just a couple more like that. Now we don't want this angle to be too steep, right? Because when uh, we actually want these to come out, so maybe we'll put them on the top here. Uh, because once it's in like the landing mode or whatever you want to call it, um, they need to be more um, out, right? Outright, more sticking out. Okay, but in flight mode, see, we might have to put a joint there. It needs to be much longer still. And then maybe we can... Maybe we can work on this angle some so that it doesn't look quite as abrupt. but still keep the same kind of form. Okay, I'm gonna work on this a little bit more and let's see what I can come up with. Okay, well, I put the end of the leg on it. Uh, I have only done the one side because I'm not sure if I like this yet. Probably I'm gonna end up having to add another joint, which <laughs> it's a little bit more work, but in the end I'll be more satisfied with, uh, with the ship, so. Um, I'm probably going to end up having to do that. Let's take a look at it, though. Uh, this is like the down position or the, like the landing position. Um, and I think that looks pretty good, actually. I, I think that looks great um, in that position. But let's go move it up. Um, I, haven't, uh, I haven't actually looked at it yet from, from away. So, uh, but let's hit the button. This switches them back to the, uh, the, uh, the flip-flop. And pulls the leg up. Um, let's back up. I don't want to look at it yet until I can get uh, like a clear view of what it's going to look like. So, uh, are we far enough away? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. No, that's definitely not going to work. It's way too uh, like up in the air. It needs to be more vertical. We're going to have to put a joint there. Um, this is a cool idea, though. The B ship. I'm really digging it. I don't know if I'm going to work on this more today, though. I think I'm out of time as far as, like, my recording goes. I haven't looked at the length of the episode, but this may end up being a short one. There was a lot of thinking and figuring out involved that you guys didn't get to see in this one. Um, hopefully, we can figure out this leg situation pretty soon and move on with the front legs as well. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. Oh, it's an antenna. I was like, what is this random floating block? Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and uh, it really helps me out. And um, yeah, once again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned.